this is a great example of a cool scientific experiment that can only be done if you send those samples to space. Three, two, one. Hello, my name is Pavel Rozhov. Welcome to my channel. And on this episode, I really wanted to talk about a really cool science experiment that is currently aboard International Space Station. Let's go. This particular experiment is called Neuronics. It was recently launched on Antares rocket as part of NG-19 cargo resupply mission to the International Space Station. It was carried to the station by the Cygnus spacecraft. And uh, this experiment uh, developed by Axonis Therapeutics essentially demonstrates the formation of 3D neuronal cell cultures in microgravity. So why do we even have experiments going to the International Space Station in the first place. Why can't we do those kinds of things back on Earth? The reason is actually is very simple. Gravity basically impacts everything. And if you can remove uh, gravity from the equation, you can start developing new materials. You can start seeing how things interact with one another in the sort of suspended uh, state. And in particular, when it comes to growing and culturing cells in our own bodies, they're kind of resuspended in the first place. So removing gravity from the equation when you're trying to culture them in a test tube is actually very useful, so, which is why there is a lot of different kinds of cell experiments on board International Space Station, and this is one of them. The goal of the experiment was to generate a robust human stem cell derived 3D neuron astrocyte culture model. Okay, we gotta unpack this a little bit more. So basically what it means is the company Axonis Therapeutics wants to uh, grow different types of brain cells that you can find in our own brains and co-culture them together in a small vessel. And then essentially uh, the absence of microgravity would allow for those neuron cells and astrocyte cells to kind of grow as if they were in our own brain. It, if you were to try and do this uh, back on Earth, it's very difficult to do that. And the reason is, if you try to take those uh, stem cells, which this is the precursor to those neurons, uh, if you try and grow them here on Earth, you will see that they're not quite mimicking uh, what is actually going on in our own body. So the obvious solution is to take those cells and send them up into space, which is exactly what that company has done. And first, basically, you take those uh, cultures that are frozen before the launch, then they get packaged on the rocket. So this was an Antares rocket that just launched uh, a couple days ago. And those uh, frozen cell cultures essentially are thawed in orbit and then they are injected into those uh, what's called uh, bio cells. So these are these sort of chambers that are uh, translucent so you can see through them that have a culture media for cells. They are preloaded with that and essentially this is what allows those cells to start growing in the suspension because again there is this absence of microgravity. Astronauts on board International Space Station would then exchange media several times during the course of this 14-day experiment and actually at the midpoint uh, introduce a viral vector. So what viral vector allows to do is to actually induce those cells to change their behavior. And what that allows scientists to do is really study genetic changes that are going to be part of that experiment. Now, on board the International Space Station, there is also a great microscope. It's called Bioserve Microscope. And that actually allows astronauts to take images of those uh, cell cultures continuously and evaluate how those cells actually change over time. Once that experiment concludes, all those uh, cell cultures get frozen again and then sent back to Earth for further analysis. So that's really the goal. And actually a big part of any uh, experiment such as this one is to have a ground control. So what that means is you have an experiment that is going to space and exactly the same experiment is then going to be done in parallel on Earth. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.